What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to these videos brought to you guys by Video Proc, and we're taking a look at their awesome software that allows you to edit videos, convert DVDs, download things from online from YouTube, and have them on your PC to binge watch anytime you want, and to even screen record directly on the spot. How cool is that? You can go ahead and mess with files, everything from 4K to 8K in any file format from MKV to H back to MP4 to any other videos. You can also go ahead and do DVD conversions and backing up your DVDs to MP4 AVI and have upload them to YouTube and whatnot. Maybe they're really, really awesome old videos that you just want to keep forever. You can also download things from playlists, and you can save them from YouTube and Facebook and a variety of other sites as well. So we're going to go ahead and check out their video editing, first of all. So I have a variety of interesting footage from a few of my trips, and we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at this particular uh, shot from a Puerto Rico trip. So as you can see, this is my folder, and inside of here, we have a variety of interesting shots uh, that was shot at a very awesome beach, and I'll show you guys why it's awesome in three seconds so let's say I want to import let's 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 throw in some clips here I'm gonna throw these in it's gonna load those up real quick and afterwards we are now able to quickly add watermarks effects directly to this let's see what effects we're able to add um, so I'm gonna let's say I'm gonna pause this right here all right and afterwards I'm gonna go ahead and here's some cool effects that you can go and add. You can blur it out real quick. You can do a lens correction or you can just add in some noise. I'm gonna simply go ahead and add a vignette and afterwards we're gonna go and maybe check out some of the other options we have here. So we have audio and video effects. So we can rotate this to the left. We can rotate this to the right. We can do a vertical flip. Maybe we think this looks cooler. And we can increase the playback speed, maybe the audio volume. Afterwards, we can also add subtitles and directly cut these. Uh, so you can actually select, maybe this clip is a bit too long and you want this particular clip, all right, it rendered out the vignette. That's what it'll look like. Maybe you want this clip to be half as long and all you do is hit cut and it will clip that directly on the spot. Last but not least, you can also crop a certain image. So let's say you want it, the final, like it shows what you're doing here and then it will show you the final variation here. I really want this closer to him. You know, like I don't want him to really be like that. I want him to take up a good chunk of the screen. So I'm gonna hit that. There's also presets for cropping. And last but not least, let's add a watermark. I'm gonna go ahead and add a smart tech watermark directly on here, smart tech. And you can go ahead and tweak the font as well. This font is pretty ugly. So let's go ahead and make it something a bit simpler. This one looks pretty nice, maybe even more simple. Uh, okay, that's not really simple, but you know what? It looks pretty cool. We're gonna add that watermark. We're gonna make it just a little bit tinier, right? We want it like that. And you can add multiple ones and we want it transparent because otherwise it's not really a watermark. Now it's just a title. And you can even add an image on here if you want. Now, last but not least, we're gonna hit done. And now we have completely completed that particular image. And when we render it out, it should be set to go. We have different options and it gives us all of those video options directly on here. Now, something that we didn't really look over is that you can go ahead and mess around with the codex as well. So here we have H.264, which is you know the default these days, but maybe we want a 23 frames per second. We want the resolution to be 4K and we want the aspect ratio to be something that's just a little bit more cinematic. You can also tweak the bitrate and you can set it to the highest quality. I'm gonna hit done and you can also apply those settings to all of them simultaneously. Now, last but not least, you can go and retitle all of these as well. So if you want this to be named uh, smart, I am smart. How's that? You can go and do that as well. And you can even set something as the media cover. So you, you can pause at a certain section and that will be the thumbnail of the video. Or you can add your own custom artwork as the thumbnail. So if you're working on YouTube and whatnot, this can be very, very helpful. Now, the really cool thing is the rendering speed on this. It is really, really good, especially on lower end machines and, uh, and whatnot. You can actually use high quality engine and there's uh, deinterlacing and even merging. So you can go and mess around with all those settings. And you can use your GPO to do hardware acceleration so it renders out just just a bit faster. All you have to do is hit run, but before that you do want to hit your target format. So if you want to use it on an Apple device, it gives you formats. You have YouTube video for your ideal format for that, and you even have DVD profiles and whatnot. All in, uh, but let's say we want to do something random. We want this for a Sony Xperia video. So random. Look at this. We have extra formats built directly into this as well, and the options are endless. If you're on Samsung, take a look at all these different options that you have. But for now, most people are going to be rendering to their iPhone, and they're probably going to want to use H.264, and they probably want something that it happens just a little bit faster so we're gonna hit done and afterwards all you have to do is hit run now here's where you're gonna have to go ahead and activate it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that but there is a free trial so you don't have to fully activate it you can go and render with everything you have right now it's using my CPU and it will go ahead and render this out and you can even shut down the computer when this is completely done how cool is that 
So as you're wondering, what does my final video look like? Well, we're going to go ahead and play it right here, and I'm simply going to show you guys. I chopped it a bit too much, but let's go ahead and, yeah, I chopped it way too much, actually. That's like a one-second shot. But if I was to go ahead and make this a bit longer, it's him waving with smart tech on the right, and it gives it this cool little effect all pretty, pretty fast. How awesome is that? Now, we're going to actually jump back, and I'm going to hit the some medias are on this list. That's fine. And I'm going to show you guys quickly the video converter. You simply toss a DVD into here, and afterwards, it will convert it into an I. You can convert it into ISO, vice versa, or you can take a DVD, and you can convert it into maybe like MP4, H.264 for iPhone, Android, and, and so on and so forth, which is really, really awesome. There's also a downloader. This is one of my favorite functionalities built directly into this. So basically, you are able to go and find a random YouTube video and basically you're able to go ahead and render this out so of course here we go I decided to tweak the video a little bit so we have President Obama talks to First Lady all you did was hit analyze and now you can actually download this in a particular quality so I'm gonna download the selected videos and it will download that particular mp4 file directly to my computer and I can go ahead and toss that into the editor and tweak it exactly the way I need hit download now and it will download all of those particular files in the particular format that you need and it'll happen in uh, so it'll happen as well. Next off, we're going to go ahead and check the screen recorder real quick. All you have to do is hit screen, and afterwards, your screen should pop up. You can choose which monitor you need. So taking a look here, we have this particular monitor, as you can see, and then you can go ahead and mess around with some of the settings, and you can go and start recording on the spot, and it will pull in uh, your your uh, volume from your computer and it will pull your mic right now as you can see my mic is going it's kind of like inception it's a screen recorder with a screen recorder there's also webcam and screen mode as well so you can actually you basically have everything you could technically speaking download a youtube video and then screen record something and then toss that into a dvd all within the same application how cool is that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off